Hey everybody, what we're going to be tying today is a wonder nymph. It's a little mayfly nymph pattern that seems to fish pretty well in the fall of the year. So let's get started. For materials, the hook is going to be a big T short nymph hook, size 14. The bead is a tungsten bead, 2.7 millimeters copper, also a big T product. Okay, the tail and the legs will be made from a feather from a hen neck. This is a brownish color. The body will be a goose bite. Okay. For the thorax we're going to be using awesome possum natural nymph dubbing to start brown. And for flash we're going to be using some flashy boot. This is in a root beer color, I believe. So let's get started. Okay, now I've got some ADOT uni thread here I'm using today. I'm just going to take and just start the thread here. Cut that off. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to take some 015 lead wire. I'm going to wrap three or four wraps up around here and just ease that out and jam that up behind the bead. That's going to add just a little bit of extra weight to keep that bead from moving. So we'll get that tied down. And move towards the back of the hook here. Okay. Once we get to about this point, we're going to take a, a feather from that hackle, just about like that. And we're just going to take and take 10 or 12 fibers off one side of it. Okay, just even them up and pull them out. Okay, I'm going to tie that in for our tail. And that's going to be approximately the length of the hook. Okay, I'm tie it up just right here. Trim that out of there. Neaten that up a little bit here. And we're going to go back to the back here and come back a little bit further. Okay. Just about like that. And we're going to take our goose vise. We're going to cut a bite out of this thing. Okay. So this is size 14. You want a longer longer bite out of here and what you're going to do is we're just going to take this and tie the tip in going towards the eye of the hook okay and just fasten it in go ahead and just wrap it up the hook a little bit and we're just going to start to wrap this thing over okay making a body out of it Stage, you're going to take two to three strands of this flash and you're just going to tie it down right on top of the body just like this. Okay. Alright. Now, the next step and probably the most exciting part of the whole fly is tying the legs in. Now, 
how we're going to do this, we're going to use the aftershaft fibers of this feather. Now by aftershaft, I mean it's down near the butt. Okay, So if you'll notice, these barbules tend to go this way. So you're going to want your legs to go this way. So you're going to tie this in backwards. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and just preen just a very few feathers off. Okay. Because this is going to be the front when we get through. So it's got to have a tie down point. All right. And we're going to come back here towards the back. And we're going to cut off. Now that feather is still good for other things. So don't throw the feather away. And we're going to just take and preen a little bit off both sides okay so here's your legs right here all right and we're going to take that and we're just going to cut those feathers okay so here we go this is what it's going to end up so we're going to turn it upside down just tie it in right here trying not to catch those feathers, okay, those barbules, and just come forward with it. Tie it down. I'm just getting them back out of the way. I've got my thread back here. I'm going to take, I'm just going to trim this little stem right here and this little part right here. All right, now, I'm going to take some awesome possum here. We're just going to dub a little bit on here. over okay. and we're going to catch, catch this just just like that okay right on top just move it a little bit with your finger get it get it centered all right try not to catch those legs cover it two or three times all right now, you can tie it off and just leave it like this or you can lift this eye out of here, but when fish start eating that, that's the weakest part of the whole fly. So we're going to take this over and just kind of strengthen it up a little bit, add a little bit of pop to it. There you go. The Wonder Nymph. Fish it and enjoy.